So we're going to carry on with task 8b. We need to open the CSV file and we need to adjust it by double clicking between any of the columns. After that, we need to make sure that it is A4 size. It is already by default by A4 size. So we can go to the page layout and in the size, we can see that it is already A4. The following thing, we need to put in the header. We need to show who created this spreadsheet and we can post it on the left side or opposite side. Uh, it's not mentioned so we can do it in any of the sites and the next to it also in the header we need to put the date or when it was created this can be done uh, in, in both ways or in two ways we can either go to the view and we can press over page layout and we simply can enter it over here or there is another way yet we can go to the page layout and we can click on more options here and we will see there is a tab for header and folder what we can add here, we can click on custom header and we can add it also in the same way over here. So I'm going just to put my name and on the right side I can put the date. You will find there are already here uh, ready tabs or ready buttons. So what we need to add is the date and the time. Or we can mention also it was created on, so it will display in this way and click on OK. After that, the following, uh, we need to add in the footer, the file name, and the page numbering. That also can be done. Uh, for right now, I can't see it. I'm just going to add it right now. So I need to add. Again, um, if it's not uh, responding, so make sure that you're in the header and footer tab. And what I need to add is uh, the page number and the file name. So I'm just going to put the file name over here. You will be able also to see the same buttons over here. So the file name, they haven't mentioned the path, so only the file name. And over here, we can add the page number. After that, the last thing, we need to display it in a row and columns, headings. And we need to make sure that it is with a grid line. So to do so, we need to go to file and make sure of the print view you can see the print view over here and make sure that it is also displayed in two pages so as you can see it is already in two pages and make sure that it is with a grid line currently i cannot see any grid line so just go to the page setup and go to the sheet tab and activate the grid lines and activate the row and column headings as it is mentioned in the question over here that's all you will see right now the column headings are added and as well as the grid lines final step is just to save it and make sure that it is saved with the same format that it is mentioned task 8b but make sure that it is saved in the spreadsheet make sure that it is spreadsheet and name it task 8